Hey, this is Jay with Sugar Hill Sway. Dig this 2020 intro, man. Y'all, we back at it again. I didn't hear nothing, but I, I know that we saw that one in that tree right there the other day. So, um, we're gonna try to look for it again, see if we can't find one running around here or something. I didn't hear nothing when I drove up, but they're out here. They're just, it's not really that windy, so I mean, they ought to be moving a little bit. It's kind of cool, so. We'll see here in a minute if I get one, if I see one, I'll, uh, I'll try to get it on, try to get it on video, okay? Yeah, they can't stand it, they back with me. Look here. What is this stupid cat? What is this stupid cat? Hmm? What is it, buddy? Hmm? <laughs> All right, y'all. <coughs> we just come down here and change the card out on this game camera that I put out last week. Where is it at? There it is. Just changed the card out on this game camera. So I've got another camera down there about, I don't know about, it's probably about 800 yards down through there at the other end. So I'm gonna walk down there. I think I'm gonna just get the whole camera. It's been down there a while, a long while. So I'm gonna go down there and get it. Hopefully it's still there. And of course, if we see a squirrel, we're gonna get him. Now look at that gopher hole. I can't hardly see it, but it goes down about two feet straight and then hooks off to the left. That's a deep gopher hole. I'm not really sure how deep gophers usually dig, but I, that sucker goes down and then hooks back off to the left. I know rattlesnakes like to make their den in there sometimes in the winter time. So you gotta be careful when you're around these things. Might be a big old gopher turtle in there, might be a rattlesnake. Walking down here too much just for that reason. I figured we'd get one on the way down here. It stayed in the same tree. Usually, when they hear a shot, they go trip bouncing from tree to tree, and I gotta chase them a good while. But I was shooting at shadows, trying to draw him off around this to this side of the tree, and uh, he come around, and when he did, I got him. I just I figured we'd see one on the way and I've been hearing all kinds of cane being raised down here. But that's one less that won't get in my attic. Hey y'all look at this. I guess this last storm that blew through here blew this, blew this tree over or a storm blew this tree over. 
That's a big old tree. That's a hickory tree. <clears throat> and there's my camera. Still attached to the tree. <laughs> That's a tough camera there, boy. I don't know what that strap's made out of, but it's bad to the bone, I tell you what. I'm gonna get this sucker off. I'm gonna carry the whole thing back with me. I'm, I don't necessarily think it's doing very much good right there. <laughs> but that's my camera. Down here, there's a dip, there's a there's a drain, uh, a little branch right there. Not a drain, a branch. They don't stay wet all the time. Sometimes it's wet, sometimes it's not. It feeds a little creek down here. There's a little, there's another little creek right right through there. A good little piece. I'll show you that to you one next time I'm down here. Uh. But I put it right here when this tree was standing up. And uh, like I said, it tree tree fell over. There's another tree that fell over right there. Huh. I might can I might can come down here and cut this tree because it's already sitting like this. Make something out of it. I'm have to keep that in mind. Uh, well, there it is. Let me get this sucker. I'm interested to see if there's anything on it at all. We'll see. Well, I got it off. You can see the band right there where the strap was. We got it off. I can get a little angry with it. Get it off. Cut down a sapling that one right there. so I can get to the darn thing we got it off i'm gonna see if there's anything on it they have water on in it so i'm not exactly sure even if card may still be all right i don't know about the camera itself though little batteries in this probably outside i don't know how to clean it up so i'm just see we'll check it and see i gotta get back home i'm almost out of dr pepper All right, we fit to get out of here. I should have should have brought my backpack. I got my darn gun, my camera, and my drink, and machete on my back. Should have brought my backpack. I didn't even think about it, but we're gonna go up here and get this squirrel. I left him in the crook of a tree. And get him back. And Get it up there for my cat. She likes it. She likes squirrels. I'm surprised. She must not have seen me leave this morning because if she sees me leaving with a gun in my hand and walking to the woods, mm, she's coming with me. But last year I shot one. But I didn't kill it and it fell out of the tree and hit the ground and went to running. That darn cat chased that squirrel until it went right back up another tree. They can keep up with them right there until, uh, until they hit back up in them trees and they just have to stop and watch them. And this little place right there where I was at, where, the, where I got the camera, I shot one one time right there at that tree. And she was with me. And, uh, that thing hit the ground and she had it and was gone with it before it was, it was still kicking. When she was taking it off, it was still kicking. Oh, she loves squirrel now, she really does. I shoot a bird or something, she don't mess with it. I mean, she will, but she doesn't get fired up about a darn bird as much as she does them squirrels. Thought I heard something. Huh. All right, we're going back over here to get the squirrel. We're going to carry it back up there to her. Then I'm going to see what's on these cards. If there's something on these cards, I'll try to find a way to include it in the video. So we'll see. My luck, there won't be anything on either darn one of them. Or there might be a Sasquatch on it. I see him, I'm gonna bust him too. Sasquatch. 
All right, what I checked, I checked uh, the cards. And one of the things I found on the card on this one, and I know better, I should have, I should have, I don't know why I put it up so high, but this one was up too high. So it was hard for anything to kind of activate it. I seen the tops of a, you know, a few deer and that's about it. Uh, but on, on this, this camera here, it's just too high. I need to drop it down another couple of feet down there. And I, I normally do. I normally put it about knee high usually is how, how, how high I put it. Uh, it keeps, you know, these branches right here swaying in front of it. It'll keep that from activating, you know, the camera. But I put it too high. I'm fishing to drop it down uh, a couple of feet. And it ought to be a little bit better. But there, there is some activity down here. They did see that. I see, Like I said, I've seen the tops of some deer down here. Uh, and I'll talk about that other, other camera in just a minute. Let me get this one down. I want to get it done before it gets too cold and too dark down here. Alright, I want y'all to see something. I'm in the woods again. Look who's coming. <laughs> oh, she's got to be here. What's she after? darn leaf. What you see, girl? A darn leaf. Did you get the leaf? No, you left the leaf up there. It's the least you could just get the leaf. That's what you were after. <laughs> Alright, y'all. I just saw, just got through watching Alabama beat Michigan in the Citrus Bowl. Uh, sun's a little low. It's a little cool out. I thought I'd go squirrel hunting again. See what we can get. Now y'all look. I'm out here sitting on a tree log. I got this thing all over me. She's a mess, buddy. She's a mess. H M S. Dang. All right, we didn't see anything today. Probably be the last day I get a chance to for a few days. Saw a buzzard though. Oh, loud buzzard. Buzzards are loud anyway. So cat kills me. We'll try them again later. All right, y'all. We back out on the road again the day after New Year's. I was able to work through the weekend last weekend and then Monday. Uh, and I was actually off New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. And that is that is odd. But I'm paying for it now, buddy. Uh, everybody and their brothers got... Well, I shouldn't say that. It's just been a busy morning. It usually is after gin shut down, and then they try to start back up. Shutting down is not a big deal, big deal, but they're starting back up. Usually when machine is running, it stays running. But when you stop it for a couple of days, whether it be, you know, somebody forgets how it's supposed to run or what it's supposed to do because they don't start up that often, you know, everything usually stays running a good little bit. Uh, so they really don't have things to contend with there it just runs you know the machinery just runs and does everything in automatic and when you gotta start back up you gotta you know make sure certain things are made and uh, certain switches are being made and all this stuff so usually starting back up is usually kind of a pain that's why when gins start back up in the fall they've been down for months you know and they uh you know if you don't operate a machine for seven eight nine months you got to remember how that machine is supposed to work so a lot of people have problems with it you know and our machinery is hooked up to other machinery and that machinery has to work like it's supposed to otherwise ours won't work like it's supposed to uh, so I mean there's a lot of factors a lot of variables and everything that go into that and uh, oh, let me 
let me get my butt over. And um, so, you know, anytime you turn the machine off and start it back up, it's always something ain't quite right. So, anyway, I've had a bunch of phone calls this morning. Uh, like I said, now I'm back on my way down to Atmore, Alabama. We gotta do some work in the gym down there. So, uh, so that's where we're at. We're back on the road. All right, y'all. <clears throat> I just finished another book. I, uh, whenever I'm on the road a lot, traveling, driving, and everything, I listen to audio books. I used to li listen to satellite radio a good little bit, but it kind of got to where that was just kind of getting a little old. So I started listening to audio books, and you can get them. You can get audio books through your library, um, or you can. Uh, get them through an app called OneDrive. Now OneDrive is you have to have to have your library participate in this program and you have to have a library card. But what you can do is you can download a book it's just like checking a book out of the library except instead of actually physically going to the library and looking for a book you can just download it and have it checked out for anywhere from uh, one, seven, seven days, 14 days, 21 days. And it's, uh, it's really pretty cool. They have a lot of the copies that they have, of course, the, the most popular books are just kind of taking a stab in the dark because they only have they only have so many copies that they can uh, that they can lend out, and some of them have wait lists of up to like six months. So, <coughs> uh, but if you look hard enough, you can find books in there that are good. Uh, I just finished the one that I just finished is called Haunting Danielle, the Ghost of. Uh, Mallory House, The Ghost of Mallory House. And it's written by Bobby Holmes. Now, I've not read, I'm assuming it's a she because of the vantage point and the main characters and everything are, of, uh, are, are from a female point of view, female perspective, so I'm assuming that it's a lady that wrote it. But it was a pretty good book. It's about this lady who inherits a house from a great aunt that she, I can't remember if she'd never seen her before or she just kind of talked to her before, just had some life. Anyway, she was the only heir this great aunt had. And so she, when the great aunt passed away, she gave her uh, her house, uh, or gave her a house that she inherited. She had never been there either. But anyway, uh, and once she, once she, you know, gets, gets the house, she decides that she's gonna leave her other life behind and open a bed and breakfast and use this house as a bed and breakfast. Well, lo and behold, the, uh, it's inhabited, the, the house is inhabited by a ghost. Now, it's not a scary story at all, uh, but it is intriguing. And, it, uh, the, the lady who takes over the house, along with her friend that come up there and, uh, come up, come up there with her, they kind of, they kind of, as they're trying to get it, you know, into bed and breakfast shape, I guess. Uh, the main character who can who can see dead people meets up with the ghost of his name's Walt Mallory, and uh, they're very cordial. I mean, it's not a spooky, scary story. And the whole the whole book is they're trying to figure out not only uh, one mystery about what happened to him, how did he really die, because he can't really remember how he died. And, uh, and then trying to uh, part treasure hunt too. There's a there's a necklace that they're looking for. So it's 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 not a it's not a vulgar book. It's not gross. It's uh, it's a very pleasant read. It's not something that you have to just make yourself listen to part of the time just to just to get interested in it. It's pretty interesting from the get go. So it's 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 a pretty good book. I can't complain a bit. And I just finished it. It's not a very long book. Uh, I think the running time on it was like nine hours, I think. So, I mean, it's, to me, who travels a lot, I mean, that's nothing for me. So, I, I'll rent and listen to several books within a week. So, it's not that big of a deal for me as so I go through it. But if you have, if, if, if you're unable to listen to it or spend a lot of time listening to it, you have to stop and kind of think back, okay, now where did I leave off? So, uh, but now this one, this like I said, this was a pretty good book, and uh, there are some books that I'll read. I probably the one I just started, 
Uh, I'm not going to mention it because I'm not really a big fan of it. It's, I thought it would be better than what it was. It was there was one of these books that they made a movie out of, and I saw the movie, and the movie was pretty decent, but the book. So usually, if the movie is pretty decent, the book is going to be real good because in the movies they leave out so much, you know, background material, and uh, a lot of times they leave out a lot of main plot lines too. Excuse me. But this one so far, I've listened to about an hour and 45 minutes of it, and it's 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 really kind of hard to get through, you know. So. I probably I'll, I'll probably send it back and try to find me something else. Uh, but as I as I listen to a book and kind of go through it and see how it goes and see how it does, if it's one I like, I'll I'll recommend it. I'll mention it. Uh, but like I said, this is Haunting Danielle. Yeah, Haunting Man Danielle. Oh, what is that? What is the rest of it? Oh shoot, I can't remember the other other What is the rest of that book? My brain just just goes off on a tangent sometimes. It doesn't It doesn't work sometimes. But anyway, it's, it, I I know Haunting Danielle by Bobby Holmes and there's a subtitle also to it and I can't remember it. But uh but it it's pretty good. Like I said, it's not it's not dirty or anything like that. Uh It's it's a it's a pretty good book. All right, well, I made it to my destination. I'm gonna be here today and tomorrow, and then probably Saturday and Sunday too. It depends on what all I got to do once I get in this gym. But, uh, well, we'll see. I got a couple of days off, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. I had to work the day before, I had to work the day after, which is today. Um, but we'll see, all right? tell that more. Time to take the Christmas stuff down. Time to take the Christmas stuff down. There's a snowflake. This place ain't seen a snowflake in years. Time to take the Christmas stuff down. Why is it that you're driving a parkway and park in a driveway? All right, y'all. <clears throat> I got another book review for you. <clears throat> Man, I'm on my throat this morning. The name of the book is The Thirteenth Tale by Diane Setterfield. It's a, uh, it's a pretty good one. I don't know how you know. I don't know if it's award worthy or not. It was, it was pretty good. It was a good read. I mean, it's, it's captivating. Kept you going the whole time. It's about this. Uh, young girl who works for her father in a bookshop, antique, antique bookshop, and there's a writer that's old and she's dying, and she gets this young girl to come and write her biography for her. Well, it's a very interesting biography, otherwise it wouldn't be worth writing, would it? So, I mean, it just goes on. She's sitting there and interviewing the lady or listening to the lady, listening to the lady tell her story for biographical reasons. And she has an interesting story concerning her family history and some of the dark dealings that went on with her family history and stuff uh, that's in her family history. And, uh, in the end, it all kind of comes together. It's a it's a pretty good read. I mean, it's not. I didn't realize it at the time while I was reading it, and I didn't realize it till I was about to return it that it was an abridgment. And I normally don't like to listen to books or read books that are abridged in any way, shape, or form because it takes away uh, some of what the author is trying to write. I mean, that author took enough time to write down these words. I mean, I think it's you know. It's like, it's, it's, I tell you what it's like, reading an abridgment is kind of like watching a movie make of a book. Because none of those are ever quite right, never quite the same. A movie maker 
thinks that he can tell that story better than the uh, author of the book can. So a lot of times these books, now sometimes there are movies that stay, you know, real true to the book and are really, really good and sometimes they don't work out. Uh, but, but a lot of times they do work out. So that when you read an abridgment, it's kind of like you, you know, don't get the the whole story, I guess, a little bit is what I'm trying to say. Uh, but regardless, it was a good book. And then right, right after I returned that one, I, I got another book. And it's, this one is, it, 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 it doesn't grip me. It, sometimes I venture out of my comfort zone and try to read a book or listen to a book that's, you know, a little bit out there. And a lot of times that works it out. It expands my horizons, I guess, a little bit. But this one, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not going to, you know, give a bad review of a book because this author is, he's kind of pretty well known, you know, and uh, I'm sure that appeals to some people. It's not really that it was it's just a bad book, you know, it's a horrible book. It just didn't grab me. So, I checked out a different one I'm going to start reading on today. And, uh, when I get through with that one, we'll see We'll see how that one turns out. But The 13th Tale by Diane Setterfield is a pretty good book. I, I can't complain. It's, it's, it's one of those that when you have to turn it off, you look forward to the next time you have to turn it back on. <coughs> so, you can you know finish the story and that's the good thing about books it, you can't compress it into an hour and a half like a movie you know it's it's an investment you know you start reading something you get invested in it sometimes I've started reading books <laughs> and they uh, they start out really good and then they really turn sucky but you got so much invested in it now you want to finish it out and just see how bad it is you know so but anyway I mean usually a good book is it's hard to beat a good book, especially when you're riding up and down the road for hours on end. Uh, but that's it. We heading back to the Cotton Gin. It's Sunday. We heading back to this Cotton Gin down here. It's uh, they've been down for a couple of weeks actually. They they do a really kind of cool thing. They shut down for Christmas holidays like schools do. Shut down for two weeks. And. Uh, I've been trying to get down here and trying to get down here and trying to get down here. They had some issues they wanted me to check out. Uh, so I've been trying to get down here and trying to get down here. So I come down here Thursday, I think it was. Yeah, Thursday. So I'm, I'm Thursday or Friday. Anyway, so I, I don't like a whole lot today and they're going to start back up tomorrow. So I'm going to finish up today and then, uh, probably hang around tomorrow just to make sure that you know everything's gonna run like it should run and make sure that what I did is, uh, is, is, is okay golly that's a big woman right there boy hot the mighty nose that was a big woman I ain't talking about a fat woman I'm talking about a big woman she had to be every bit of 6'3 and 240 250 she was a hoss Ricky Tidwell's mama. <laughs> yeah, you Tim Wilson fans will understand what I'm talking about. All right, we heading back here. I gotta get a, I gotta get me a biscuit. And some, there's a little old cat down there that likes to hang around with me down there at the gym. I'm gonna get him a biscuit too. Um. So that's where we're heading. See how this works out. All right, everybody, we made it to the end of another week. <clears throat> um, just want to make some notes and kind of do some conclusions. The uh, the cameras that I set up, or the camera that I set up, I set that camera up too high. Whenever I went back and checked the card on it and everything, I saw that it needed lower. And I know better than that. Most of the time, I set cameras up at knee high. Because uh, if you don't, then it's gonna, it's 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 only gonna catch the backs of whatever it is you catch you're trying to film, and that's exactly, that's exactly what happened. Is it caught the backs of some deer? And there's some deer down there, and some deer on there, but it just kind of caught the backs of them, and if the the bucks, it caught the racks. 
So <clears throat> it really didn't do too good at picking up. And every little limb up there just set it off and everything. So I dropped it down lower. I dropped it down about knee high. And so we'll leave it like it is uh, and kind of check it whenever, we, whenever uh, we, next chance we get. Uh, the other camera was the card on it was still intact and it still had a bunch of images on it. The only problem is most of the images come after the tree had fell over. So all of the all of the video and everything, again, it just kind of caught the, the backs of whatever it was going down through there. All it was was a few deer and a, and a dog. It had a dog going back and forth. I know it was a dog because of the tail. Uh, but that's about all it picked up. And plus all the images were like this as it went by. So everything was on its side, and it, it, what I did, like I said, what I did get uh, was just something passing through, and it just got the tops of them as well. But uh, I took that camera, uh, took the card out, checked the card, of course, that those images were on there. Um, took the camera and put new batteries in it, didn't work. Took it apart, it was slammed full of water. So I dried it out, sprayed some contact cleaner on it and everything, and uh, let it sit for a while, Put the batteries back in it, turned it on, nothing again. So I chunked it. I just get me another one. That thing, it, it was so full of water, I'd have been surprised if it worked anyway. Um, but that's that's really that's really about it. We'll, we'll get us another and stick it back down there somewhere. Um, the one thing that I noticed uh, was there really wasn't a whole lot of deer, even the, in the time frame that. Uh, I had it set up. There wasn't a whole lot of anything coming through there. There were, but there just wasn't as much as I've gotten at other places. So I don't know if I put it back down there because when I was down there the other day, I, di I didn't really see a good game trail down there. Um, you can tell that it used to be and close by around and about there is, you know, some game trails down there. Um, but for the most part, there really wasn't much down there. <clears throat> so I'll probably put it I'll probably get me another one and put it back out. I always kind of like to just see what's moving back there and uh, kind of just kind of see what's going on a little bit. It's just kind of neat to me. Um, that's about it. If you like our videos, please give us a like. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell in the corner. Let you know every time we put another video up, it'll let you know. Uh, have any comments, put them down in the comment section. I'll read the comments. I might not be able to respond to all of them. If you ask me a question and I don't answer the question, don't feel bad because I don't like to answer questions in comments and stuff. Um, what I may do is take the questions, or a good, as many as I can get, on the uh, of questions that y'all put down there and may do kind of like a whole episode of nothing but just Q&A, just kind of answer some questions people might have. Um, like I said, don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next Monday. Appreciate y'all watching. That's all I got.